I had some pizza. Can you smell it? I tell you, I had, I had some like some cherry Dr. Thunder too. But yeah, I don't like it that much. No, no, it's good. That was very good. Like the first two cups, but on my fifth cup, I was getting, I was getting really sick of it. You know, like root beer, I can drink that stuff all the time, but you know, I, I eventually get, get sick of that cherry crap. I make my own, I make my own root beer floats. Like I had to go to this, well, I used to. You know, like whenever I was, I was a little kid, I went to this place called Incredible Pizza it's in Springfield. You know, anyway, and um. I would like put vanilla ice cream in a cup, and, uh, like about halfway, and then I'd put um uh oh buddy, this is all free because you because like when you pay for the buffet everything's free you know, you know and then I put like root beer on there and I just stir it up and oh man it was like it was freaking heaven okay I'm telling you, okay here's where the dive missiles come in handy you don't you don't even have to aim and that's cool all right. In my opinion, the number one greatest robot master of all time is Cut Man. Don't ask me why. I just—he just so he's just cool. I, there's something about him. He, he's just like really cool. Yeah. Of course you wouldn't know. You're not cool like I am. <laughs> no, I've always wanted to grow a beard. You know? I, okay, like not a little beard, but like a Duck Dynasty kind of beard. Yeah. I want to grow like a huge beard. I thought that'd be so. I think that'd be so cool. And then go crawfishing. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting kind of stereotype. Alright. Stop it! Stop it! God. I gotcha. Prick. Oh, I'm green. Making his head banging. Alright, let's go get this e take over here. Oh, I hate those douchebags. Now, Toad Man's weapon, Rain Flush, takes these guys out in one hit. Yeah, like I said, like Rain Flush is Rain Flush is actually super is actually pretty freaking powerful. Um <laughs> um for uh <laughs> So, okay, you, you get it from like the we okay the weakest robot map. One of the easiest bosses in video game history has a, his weapon's pretty good. Yeah, in my opinion. Like I know his weapon's is stupid, like rain flush, like it's rain. I know, but okay, I just think it of like acid rain. That's how I think of it. Hmm. Oh, I nice try. Mm. Oh my god. I used to have so much trouble with these parts trying to just... Just trying to navigate. Well, not get navigate, but trying to hit the switches before like before I land. And if you miss them, um... Okay, they're not just switches to make the land... Of, the, like, to, I, know, I used to think they just make it visible. But no, no, they actually make it, make land appear out of nowhere. So if you don't hit it, then there's just... There's just, a, there's just a pit there, but if you hit it, then like land just like, teleports like right there. It doesn't make any friggin' sense. Oh, this is drill, man. I'm gonna drill you. <laughs> I'm gonna dive into you. I'm gonna dive into your drill. <laughs> My Caterpie used Harden, and you know what? It's super effective. Oh my god. Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, look what I have. Yeah, I know. Shame on me. But, you know, this, that part with the rocks and those blue things that stick to the ground, okay? That kind of hurts me sometimes. Like, sometimes I can fly through it, no problem, but other times, I don't have much luck. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, look at his health. He's got like one little unit of health left. Shabam! Oh, I got it. I got, I got right in the center that time again, too. Sweet. That was cool. No, I wanted to be able... Now, I want to show you a glitch. 
um, and throw me on stage. Well, not a glitch, but it's like a cool trick. Oh, you got your bomb, and you got Rush Jet Adapter. Okay, and Mega Man 3, the Rush Jet was awesome. You can just stand on it, and you can, like, make it go everywhere. Like, like now, now, in Mega Man 4, and in every Mega Man game after that, Rush always goes forward, okay? He always goes the direction that you make him teleport in, and, um... Which, is, which sucks. Okay, so you're gonna go forward, and all you can do is make him slow down, or it, it, all you can do is like push back, make him slow down, or just like push up and down, make him go up and down, and that's it. All right. And you know, in Mega Man 3, you, in, in Mega Man 3, it was basically like Mega Man could fly endlessly, like he was gonna like, just go all over the screen, just do whatever the heck you want in the first jet. But you know, they fixed something that wasn't broken. Alright, anyway, I'll see you in part 5, where we will take on Toad Man. Kermit the Frog, part 5, bye. Part 5 is next.